506 days. That's how long these border bridges have been closed to Americans wanting to come to Canada. I think it's about time for things to get reopened again. Only essential travelers have been allowed to cross since the beginning of the pandemic. Starting Monday, American travelers who follow new rules are welcome to cross again. We deem to be fully vaccinated and also understand it has to be one of the Health Canada approved vaccines. For border businesses here, it's like a new beginning. Typically 25% of the tourists come from the U.S. and they represent 50% of the revenue. Yeah. Nearby Niagara and the lake, that means more people going for carriage rides. I'm hoping so. Fingers crossed, you know, that's all we can hope for. At the local Irish pub, many Americans were regulars. They're considered our locals that come all the time, so not having them for over a year has been dramatic. At the world famous Shaw Festival, the theater staged its first indoor production in more than a year on Saturday night. Everybody in the whole place was crying actually. It was kind of the most remarkable moment of coming back joyously celebrating together. Americans usually make up 40% of the audience. We love those visitors. They're, so seeing them start to come back, vaccinated people crossing the borders makes sense to us. And yet as Ontario's COVID-19 case numbers start creeping up again, some Canadians are cautious about seeing foreign visitors. Cases keep spiking and just like driving up numbers of people who aren't vaccinated, who are just going to push our cases up is just going to delay our inevitable return to normal, which we're probably never going to get to. But because visitors must be tested and vaccinated, a surge of tourists is not expected right away. There's been weddings missed, funerals missed. I think that'll be the first thing, families. They have a couple friends who I know they have family on the other side of the border, and it's been tough for them because like I haven't been able to see their family in like, yeah, like a year and a half. No. That wait is now almost over as border crossings around Canada prepare to allow Americans in again. As for when Canadians can drive across the U.S. border, the American government hasn't answered that question yet. Jeff. Sean O'Shea reporting in Niagara Falls for us tonight. Thanks, Sean.